forget our caps, okay? Okay, sea day brunch time. Who's hungry? Uh, I think so. <laughs> and if you haven't guessed, welcome to day two. Today is a sea day. We're starting the day off with sea day brunch. It's 70 degrees outside. It's supposed to get up to 80. So that should feel good. So pants are now stowed and we brought out the shorts. Back home it is <laughs> negative five. So is it really? Take it. Yep. Oh, so I just heard in the year Andrew said St. Louis negative five. Oh, all right. We won't rub in the 70 to 80. And coffee has arrived. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, that's good coffee. Okay. Yeah, so I still think this is one of the best coffees on any of the cruise ships. Um, very good. Perfect for me, anyway. Yes, I like it. And then I also, after breakfast, I like to go and get a little extra with Java Blue. Oh, yeah. Because that's yeah. amazing as well. We'll, we'll find <laughs> Java Blue. And by the way, if you enjoy the Ark Adventures hat, I will put a link in this video for the hat. So, it's very comfy. I like it. Thank you. Okay, our brunch has arrived. What do you have, Andrea? Uh, I got the veggie omelet, the corned beef hash, which is amazing. And I asked for well done or crispy bacon, and they did well done with the bacon. <laughs> it does look nice and well. Yes. Yeah, and I think I had pretty much what Andrea had. I had the veggie omelet, and then I got uh, the brunch potatoes, I think they're called brunch potatoes, and crispy bacon. And, and then we do have toast on the way and there you go a nice looks like a great uh, way to start your day with breakfast okay so far this cruise we're following another YouTube couple that say they always take the stairs. So far, <laughs> we've yet to take an elevator. But this is a long go, so to go from deck 8 to 16 is a bit of a, I mean you gotta take some breaks. 16. Okay, our first drinks of the day. This one is called the Sail Away. Yeah, it's the drink of the day at the watering hole and it's a blue carousel, lemon juice, and vodka. Okay, cheers. And we're on deck eight and it's called the watering hole. And it's like perfect. You got a nice breeze, it's 80 degrees. Okay, so we are at Emerald Bistro. We're gonna try this for lunch today. We're getting a sampling. We uh, have red beans and rice. Uh, she ordered a burger. Mural burger. Uh, I ordered a mufalada sandwich and then also ordered on the side for us to share shrimp scampi. So it's about $6 a plate, but we'll show you everything. Red beans and rice have arrived. Oh, there's, that does look good. Good so far, or have you tried it? No, I just tried a piece of meat and that was really good, so. Oh my gosh, look at this everybody, shrimp scampi. It's bubbling. Look at that. That's like hot off the presses. So, I originally did not get this and then I saw shrimp scampi on the menu. I'm like, okay, I gotta try that. Yeah. 
That looks And we were just discussing about how most are watching football in The Pig and Anchor. Here's what we're watching. We are watching something more exciting to us. We're trying to watch our pups. Oh yeah, there's, there's Luke way up there. There's Lorelai right there. And if you're hearing like bubbles and like groans, the aquarium above us, the show is happening. So you're hearing oh, whales. I get a quick <laughs> little shot of what's happening. Yeah, it's like you're under in an aquarium. It's very serene. We're eating underwater, Andrea. <laughs> In a submarine. All right, I gotta dig into this shrimp here. Okay, I'm not sure the best way to dig into one of these shrimps, but they do have tail on. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> That's a good shrimp scampi. Yeah, nice buttery flavor, garlicky flavor. Yeah, good. Okay, this is a good little piece of garlic toast. Wow, crunchy. And the shrimp is really good. There's even noodles inside uh, the shrimp bowl, and that's really good as well. So, so far, everything's been really good here in Emerald. Yeah, for $6, I would, I would get this all the time. Shrimp scampi in there, sweet, succulent, spicy, very hot shrimp, as you saw the bubbling. Yeah, good stuff. I'm looking forward to the mufalada, see their spin on it. Okay, the rest of our food has arrived, so I have a mufalada sandwich. Looks like it comes with the chips with the parmesan on it. On it, We've had this before, I think. So there's their version of a mufalada that does look very tasty. I'm sure it had, oh, yep, I see the olive, the olive spread there. Let's give this a little go. Mm. Okay. That's very tasty. The olive spread really makes it. Those look lovely, the chips. The fries are good. Uh, some are probably gonna be hotter than others because there is more seasoning on some, but they have good flavor, so. All right. I, I just gotta cut my burger in half. Andrea just tried her burger. Okay, so the burger is really good, and you can see all the juices and the meat. <laughs> I cut it open, and it was just like, whoa! It does look very but, juicy. Yeah, yeah, so very good. Fries are very good, so. I'm happy with my little upcharge lunch that we have. It's different than the guy's burger. So the guy's burger has more of like the crispier edges. This is more of like a little bigger patty with juices. Oh yeah, it looks a lot thicker and not yeah. so thin as the guy's burger. Yeah, but still both are very good. So. And we're back to our cabin. We have our first towel animal. It's a cute little elephant. <laughs> yeah. Hey friend, the room's all nice and made up, and we're tired. We may relax a little bit. Tonight is formal, formal night, night and a captain's toast, so we're going to make sure that we are dressed to impress. Yeah, and tonight's formal men menu looks a lot different than the past, so there's a combo one, filet mignon and uh, braised short ribs mm -hmm. as a combo. Guess what night it is. <laughs> Can you guess it? It's, it's formal night. <laughs> formal night. No lobster. That will probably be on the second formal night, but we will show you the menu. But we are off right now to the captain's, captain's toast. toast. So let's get going. It's in less than 10 minutes. We better head out. Come along. Good evening, everybody, and welcome into center stage for our captain's celebration. Who is excited and had a great day out on the ship today? Tonight, we are bringing the elegance out in one of our time-honored traditions of our captain's celebration, where you guys have a chance to meet all your senior officers and the captain. I'm going to warm up the crowd with a daring and defying act. Are you ready? Yes! I'm going to climb these stairs 
in a dress with no assistance. <laughs> She's got it. Mm. <laughs> oh! She did it. Please put your hands together for Captain Seveno Bonica. Thank you and give it up for the one and one and only Kendo Fire. You see, they always cheer food for you than me. We have three beautiful ports ahead of us, Cozumel, Costa Maya, Rata, three beautiful ports where you're gonna enjoy, I'm sure, your time outside. Thank you so much, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you around. Look straight ahead for us, in a loud, clear voice, what was the name of your best friend when you were a little girl? What is it? Maria? That's pretty close. I said Bavia. That is pretty close though. I mean, one letter. Let's just pretend. There you go. Nailed it. Thank you so much, Larry. All right, I have a Alfredo pasta, and then we have a tuna dish off the Emerald menu. Andrea's escargots. Okay, so this is off the Emerald's menu, tuna. It's interesting. Not a whole lot of flavor. That's all right. I found it to be a little spicy. Spicy? I haven't got the heat yet on that. But, but my escargots, you can tell I didn't gone. like it. Yeah. She had me try one, not bad. I really like it. And then it comes with the little piece of like garlic yep. toast with it. Yeah. And then the chicken Alfredo does have pretty good flavor on the chicken. It's got mushrooms, spinach. So, not bad. So far, so good. All right, Andrea's entree has arrived. Andrea, what do you have? Uh, so, this is the grilled jumbo shrimp and fish cake. And the mashed potatoes have smashed peas in them. I did already try a little bite and they were fantastic. So, I'm sure the rest of it will be fine. We'll check back in later. It actually looks good, smells good. Uh, I had the duo, it, it was like a filet mignon and short ribs, so that actually looks really good. Yeah, this is another new one, so they've changed their menu quite a bit this trip. Andrea, your dessert has and arrived. for the main event, it is the Grand Mornay Souffle. Grand Mornay Souffle. I have chocolate panna cotta, that looks really good. And it looks like kind of the perfect end to the meal, so... Yeah, looks like the perfect amount, not too much. And I think we are going to get coffee with this because both of these are a bit sweet and the coffee will cut down on the sweet. Good? All right, good formal night dinner. All right, this dessert was excellent and it's gone. And something we don't do often at all, not since like Carnival Magic way back in the day, but we got coffee F with our dessert. And we forgot how good this is to have coffee after something really, really sweet, even though it's late at night. Very good. Let us know if you have coffee sometimes with your dessert. But my souffle didn't stand the chance. No, it's gone. Your souffle's gone. I scraped the bottom of the barrel for that. 